On September 8, 1964 Princess Amory of Denmark married King Constantine of Greece in Athens I was the first king to marry in Greece the king recalled to town and country in 2015 on that day she wore a dress designed by Danish fashion designer Jürgen Bender three years after the wedding the Greek royal family was forced to flee the country in a military coup Queen Am's wedding tiara and tiara were inherited. But her dress was lost in the archives of Tabla Palace the royal couple returned to Greece in 2013 look at ancient Greek history Constantine told TNC all Greeks living in exile want to return it's in the blood oddly enough it was my wife who insisted the most I think she realized that I would only be happy when I came home he passed away in Athens earlier this year the discovery of the dress was was reported by Greek journalist Andreas Mos who shared pictures of the box in which the dress was stored the caption translated from Greek reads here is the wedding dress of Queen Aenery located in Tatwa where a few days ago it was discovered among the personal belongings of the royal family preserved and stored there perhaps this too will be displayed in a Tatwa Palace Museum Tatwa is currently undergoing a $14.97 million renovation and will be turned into a museum numerous royal relics have been discovered during the restoration process among the recent discoveries renovators have uncovered a total of 70 suitcases and trunks believed to have belonged to Frederica Queen Consort of Greece from 1947 to 1964 and later Queen Mother the Greek reporter reported in 2020 the work to uncover these treasures at Tatwa is being led by archaeologists who are tasked with making sure that these precious artifacts of modern Greek history are not damaged Ed the future of Queen Amory's royal wedding dress is unclear this is the first statewide wedding of the first magnitude. Marrying none other than the last king of Greece Constantine II the young monarch's chosen 118-year-old Danish. Princess Anri wore the Greek crown on this day this royal wedding was the first and last ever held in Athens and of course the scale of it was truly cosmic the people of the country flocked to Aens to greet the royal couple representatives of the ruling dynasties of Europe and the first persons of the states arrived in the Greek capital on the occasion of the celebration the world's largest publications covered the event truly royal ceremony, combined the orthodox Greek rite with the Traditions of European monarchic dynasties celebrations on the occasion of the royal wedding lasted as befits in such cases a whole week it began in Copenhagen where a reception was given in honor of the upcoming event then followed a no less solemn meeting of the Danish princess in Athens a day later a reception in Calamaro in the presence of dignitaries then three days of popular festivities. Culminating in a week of festivities was the marriage ceremony one of the most striking public events. In Greek XX century as many Danish and Greek publications reported after the royal wedding the Danes experienced a real Greek boom many went to see the sights of the southern country and were amazed by the great heritage of ancient Hellas the rich culture kindness openness and hospitality of the people it was also noted that in the year following the king's marriage 50 international Greek Danish weddings took place 20 weddings took place on the island of RHS while the rest took place in Athens and other places of interest in Greece in settings of man-made and natural beauty while observing the national Greek customs. For the royal marriage the main event was the wedding which took place in the Athens Cathedral and was performed by the primate of the Greek Church Archbishop Chrysostomus II of Athens and all Halles on the way to the cathedral the wedding procession solemnly rolled through the city where the royal couple was greeted by thousands of people and from balconies and terraces flew wedding white confetti. Addition to the beauty of the solemn procession and the ceremony itself remembered witnesses and bright attributes of the wedding for example the cake a truly royal scale this masterpiece of confectionery art weighed 120 kilograms at four floors with a total height of 2 and a 2 m and was decorated with a royal crown the coats of arms of the danish and greek monarchical houses the monogram of the newlywed sugar flowers cupids and even olympic symbols in 1960 the future King Constantine won the gold medal of the Olympics in sailing this splendor was created by the famous Greek confectioner Regu. Aridus and of course the talk in the press about the gifts received by the royal couple from monarchs and prominent political figures from all over the world among them were furs tapestries carpets gold jewelry silver goblets and even a vase of the 3th century BC the wedding of King Constantine was the first in Greece filmed moreover the wedding procession and the wedding was broadcast live therefore.